Hey, how's it going, guys? Back again with some breaking news this morning of Giorgino Wijnaldum has verbally agreed to join FC Barcelona as a free agent this summer. It's only a verbal agreement. It's nothing official, nothing confirmed, but basically it is. Because for Georgi- uh, not Giorgino Wijnaldum, Fabrizio Romano has come out saying... It is confirmed, and here we go. And all football fans know when we see the here we go, it is done, it is over, and it is happening. It hasn't been official with club. It hasn't been official with one album. It's just that verbal agreement you get. That's like what we had with Ibrahima Kanate a couple months ago back in February or so when it was a verbal agreement with Liverpool. Now we got a verbal agreement with Gino Wijnaldum and FC Barcelona. The agreement is until the summer of June 2024, so he'll be there for three years. It is a very interesting deal. I think it's a perfect suit for him. Fabrizio also goes on to say there was nothing agreed with FC Bayern Munich, which I find very interesting because I had the idea of coming out with the Bayern Munich video a couple days ago. I delayed it because I didn't think it was going to actually happen because I didn't think he was suited. But I always saw, I kept seeing in the media, Georgina Wine albums in advanced talks. Georgina Wine albums in the next stage to sign him with Bayern Munich. It's going to happen. This is going to happen. Yada, yada, yada. It's going to happen in the next couple of days. And I, I just didn't feel like I was going to believe it. I didn't think it was the right fit for Wijnaldum. I didn't think it was the right league for Wijnaldum. And I feel like Barca was always going to happen for him. And once I seen this verbal agreement, I'm like, okay, I'm glad I left that video. Because now he is officially signed with Barcelona. We got the here we go soon. We got the here we go. It's confirmed. And it's 2024. There's more de- details to come, Fabrizio Romano says. And obviously, the more details will come when it's officially signed. But it is a verbal agreement until June 2024. I feel like this is the perfect signing for Wijnaldum, Koeman, and Barcelona. I feel like Koeman's building his squad. He's got Depay. He's got Sergio Aguero, Eric Garcia, now Wijnaldum. And great business for Barcelona. I'm going to make a separate video on that because this is fantastic. But Georgina Wijnaldum, Barcelona. You got the likes of Sergio Busquets, Pedri, Felipe Coutinho. Uh, that, I don't think he's staying. And then you still got Frankie De Jong, Ricky Puj. I feel like if I'm going to go with Barcelona here and be like Ronald Koeman, if I'm Koeman, I'm going with Frankie de Jong, Pedri, and Georgino Wijnaldum. I feel like this is the perfect, perfect fit. You got Wijnaldum lining up beside Frankie de Jong. They play week in and week out for the Dutch national side. Fantastic midfield duo. I feel like this could be one of the best midfielding duos we've seen in a long time. And they're going to work wonders together. And especially under Ronald Koeman, he's making his Dutch revolution really there with Depay... And you got Frankie De Jong, you got Georgina Wijnaldum, and possibly another Dutch signing coming in, which we've been hearing in the media lately. And then you still got likes of Sergio Busquets, so you could play defensively or you could play attacking with Pedri. Keep those midfield two of Wijnaldum and Frankie De Jong, and you could switch attacking with Busquets or attacking with Pedri, my bad, not Busquets, and defensive with Busquets. And you got a perfect setup there. Or you could play midfield four, whatever you want to do. But I want to look at why he's leaving Liverpool. I think he just wants to move on and win different things. He's won the Premier League. He's won the Champions League. And he has really... I think it was his time to move on. You got the likes of Henderson coming back from injury next year. Fabinho is going to be moved back into center defensive midfielding role. You got the likes of Curtis Jones. You got Thiago. You got much more other midfielders there. And it was just his time to move. I feel like he's 30 years old. He's hitting the peak of his career, the end of his career. And moving to a side like Barcelona to win different things. And to try to... Playing under the Koeman, a guy he loves, knows, enjoys playing for. It's great. He has some Dutch friends there, some Dutch national team members there. And it's going to be fantastic to watch. And I'm excited to see what Georgina Wijnaldum can bring to Barcelona and what he can win there. And it is also said in the tweet from Brice Romano that he is reducing his wages and salary with Barcelona. So obviously he's not a guy who wants, oh, I want the money. Oh, I want to play for fame. He's a guy who just wants to enjoy his football and play with friends, play, enjoy the game. Which we love to see. We don't want to see a money-hungry player, a guy just going out there to earn wages and to make a living. And Wijnaldum is going to enjoy his football. He, obviously, in England, we know England clubs pay a lot more money per week and per salary for the players. And moving to likes of Spain, Italy, such on, they play a lot less. And even Barcelona does. And to take a reduced wage cut, wage cut and salary is huge for joining Gino Wijnaldum and shows that he really wants to play for Barcelona. Because he probably could have gotten more at likes of Bayern or other clubs. And or to stay at Liverpool if he really wanted to. 
But I think this is the perfect move for Wijnaldum, Barcelona, and Ronald Koeman. And to keep Koeman and his Dutch regime keeping on going. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that sub button. I love the comments. And I love all the positive feedback you guys are giving me. It's fantastic. And I'm really enjoying the atmosphere we got here. Let's keep it on going, guys. Hit that sub button. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. And I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace, guys.